In this video, we will show you how to replace your crankshaft vibration dampener on this Kia Forte Coupe. This will be located along the passenger side, lower aspect of your engine. Let's get into it. Okay friend, let's get started on our job. Make your way along the passenger side of the engine. We need to have a look at the belt routing. You'll find that it goes over some pulleys and under others. We have to dislodge the belt, so make sure you take a quick note. To gain access to the serpentine belt tensioner, we'll be using a 17 millimeter. Take hold of your power steering hose. We'll bring this all the way deep down into this area and get onto that serpentine belt tensioner bolt in the center. Let's get that on there. Now we'll be pivoting this towards the rear of the engine. While holding it there, we can dislodge the belt from one of the pulleys. Now while holding pressure on this, it's easiest to remove the belt from along the back side of the engine, right along the water pump. We'll just pull it right off the side there. Got plenty of slack. There. Remove your tool from the tensioner. Raise and support the right front of the vehicle. Continue on to removing all five of your 21 millimeter lug nuts and the wheel so we can remove a plastic shield that's located behind this area. With the wheel out of the way, that exposes our plastic shield that we have to remove. This is held in place with three 10 millimeter headed bolts. One over here, one towards the front, and there's one heading straight in towards the front of the vehicle. I'll pause on this one that's aiming straight up. Remove the forward one real quick. Move to the front one here. Last one right up in the center area. Make sure you hold onto the shield. With those mounting bolts out of there, take hold of this. A quick inspection of your shield and we'll set it aside. With that out of the way, we have a clear view of the crankshaft vibration dampener. The belt's already loose, we just need to get it out of the way. Let's grab hold of that. Slide it off to the side. The belt out of the way, we can continue on with removing our 22 millimeter mounting bolt, holding this in place. This has a washer on it. Quick inspection, set it aside. Once you have the bolt out of there, we'll continue on to taking hold of the vibration dampener. You should be able to kind of twist it a tiny bit to break it free and pull it out and away towards the passenger side of the engine. There it is, friend. We'll clean up the mounting area here. We want to make sure we clean the entire shaft and try to clean and inspect that seal. If it looks like your seal is cracked, dry rotted, or damaged in any way, it's a good time to replace it. This one looks fine. We'll continue with our installation. Before we get this in place, have a look at the crankshaft. You're going to find a keyway. The vibration dampener has the port, and it also has the keyway slot. Before we install this on here, we're also going to apply a thin amount of petroleum jelly around the outer aspect here. That'll help this slide into place, making sure we cause no damage to that seal. Carefully start pressing this on, aligning our keyway as we go. With the vibration dampener in place, we'll reinstall the mounting bolt. It's a good idea to use a new one. If you're using the original, at least clean and inspect it. We'll snug this up and torque it to 125 foot-pounds. To be able to torque this, we're going to have to hold this from spinning clockwise. You can do that with miscellaneous tools. I have a band wrench. I'm just gonna come right around this. I like to use rubber so I don't cause any damage. Tighten this up as much as possible. 
Now we're going to have to bring this up so it hits up against the body of the vehicle. It's essentially just right there. Get our tool out of here. Now, once you have that secured in place, we'll continue on with getting the belt in the proper position over the vibration dampener. We'll check it on the AC compressor across the front, and then we'll put everything back together here, make our way back up inside the engine compartment. We'll get our plastic shield in place. We want to align our three mounting bolt holes. We've got one towards the back side here, one in the center, and the forward one is facing straight forward. One last inspection in this area, we'll reinstall our wheel. Start on all five of your 21 millimeter lug nuts. We'll get the wheel back on the ground, torque these to 80 foot pounds. Torqued. Let's make our way back up under the hood. It's time to start reinstalling the serpentine belt. Make sure you have it in the proper routing so it goes over and under each pulley as it should. Just double check along here. The way I typically like to have this set up is so it's around every one of the lower pulleys, coming across the front as well, and the last place that I'm going to mount the serpentine belt to is on the water pump. Now while holding pressure here, I'm just going to give a quick check. I want to make sure I'm over each one of the pulleys as I mentioned. That was good. We'll carefully get our hand out of here and the tool. A second inspection of the belt just to ensure we're properly routed and seated properly. Okay friend, we finished our installation. The next thing you have to do is make your way inside the passenger compartment. Start up the vehicle, let it run for approximately five seconds, turn it right back off. We'll make our way back out here towards the passenger side of the engine. Triple check the belt now. We need to ensure that we're sitting on each one of the grooves properly. If the belt is sitting off to one side or the other, it's going to destroy the belt and potentially cause other engine damage. You want to avoid that. Once you're sure everything's all set, go ahead and close the hood, take your vehicle for a road test. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.